My name is Joseph Calkins, and I'm the artistic director of Key Chorale, Sarasota, Florida's premier symphonic chorus. If you're a singer, you know how important it is for us to come together, to connect, to communicate, to make music. It's part of our DNA. It's who we are. During this health crisis, singing in choirs has been quite a challenge. But for singers, coming together and making music has never been more important. Music and singing, it's it's how we express ourselves. It's our emotions, our joy, and our incredible hope for a brighter day tomorrow. Key Chorale is a fully auditioned symphonic chorus of 120 singers. In addition to our unique and collaborative programming, we have a heart and passion for education and community outreach. We have our Off-Key Chorale, a choir for those living with Parkinson's disease and their care partners. And we also have our brand new Where Are My Keys Chorale for those living with memory loss and their caregivers. It is very important for these singers. They come together each week. It's the highlight for them. But with these rehearsals canceled, we wanted to find a way to bring the music to them and keep them singing. So each Thursday at 2 p.m., we'll air a new episode. And then after that, you can watch any of these episodes on our YouTube channel. So if you are joining us from one of those choirs or from anywhere throughout the world, welcome to the Come Together Choir online choral rehearsals. And the good news is you've already passed your audition. So let's sing. Welcome to episode one of the Come Together Choir online choral rehearsals, volume two. For volume two, we'll be learning 11 songs together from the folk music era of the 50s and the 60s, songs of protest, peace and love. If you haven't already, the best way to enjoy this experience is to register, which you can do by looking in the notes below this video. Once you register, we'll email you PDFs of the music or lyrics so you can participate in these episodes even more fully. So on to lesson one. So let's all stand. And if you are at home, um, you can stand as well next to your computer or your iPad, whatever. You can stand. If you feel uncomfortable standing, just sit as tall as you can. And what I like to think about with singing is we don't just sing with our voice. We sing with our entire body. So the idea is we want to be, get ourselves physically ready for this because we want to be an efficient singer and you're using all of your body to sing. So we're going to do a little bit of this. We're going to do stretch up nice and high and then look up towards your hands. And we're going to go to the left. And just stretch a little bit. You want to feel a little stretch in the intercostals and then to the other direction. And then just keep looking up one more time to the left. Very nice. And one more time to the right. Very good. And then lower your hands. And this time we're going to do some big shoulder rolls. Just trying to get some blood moving to these parts of the body and just get everything nice and relaxed. So we'll go the other direction. Very nice. Ooh. And I think I'm going to get the right one that I need, which is not that one. Very good. And then let's do some torso twists. So we're just going to twist like this. Just nice and easy to let your hands just uh, at your sides just kind of go back and forth. Very good. And, um, you know, you may not have known this, but we have uh, already made our, did our performance at Carnegie Hall. So we're going to do a little, we're going to do our bows. So we're going to put our hands behind our backs. We're going to make a giant deep bow right to the orchestra, orchestra pit. Here we go. And all the way down. And you stretch it back out. A little. And then let's take a look all the way up to the balcony. Oh, they love you at Carnegie Hall. Very nice. One more time, all the way down, and stretch that lower back and even the backs of your legs if you can. You can do this in a chair as well. And then up one more time. Even the people in the balcony loved it. That's great. And let's do a little bit of a tense and shake it out and release. And tense and shake it out and release. And we want to sing with the whole body, but the idea is we also want to have an alert posture, but we also want to be relaxed. So we don't want to have anything tense. So the idea of keeping it tense and then shaking it out is just to kind of get that sense of feeling of everything nice and relaxed. And then what we're going to do is um, put, your, put your feet shoulder width apart, and we're going to have one foot slightly in front of the other. It doesn't matter which one it is. You want your knees loose so you can kind of bend. You can do this in a chair, or you can do it standing either way. And then you want the weight forward. We don't want the weight on your heels, but weight forward a little bit. And then you want your sternum lifted. So the idea is your sternum's here. Just make sure everything's nice and elongated. Let's do this. We're going to take our hands up here like this, just about this high, kind of an angle like that. And what I want you to do is lower your hands, but keep your shoulders and everything else in alignment. So lower the hands, but keep everything nice and tall. Very good. So you should have a whole sense of elongation. The idea is we want to be the most efficient singer we can, and part of that is by alignment and posture. So that's the whole thing. So just make sure you're keeping uh, your weight forward and you've got an alert posture, but not um, 
uh, not overly relax. So then we're going to do a little bit of some breathing exercises, which we do every episode. And the idea, if we do these breathing episodes, uh, these breathing exercises every week, what's great about it is over time, you're going to build the muscle coordination to become a more efficient singer, and you're going to be so much better at this. You also get connection with the sensations of what a good breath feels like. So we're going to try a little experiment. We're going to take our imaginary candle. So you have a candle, your index finger, and we're going to blow out the candle. Here we go. Ready? On three. One, two, three. Very nice. And let's make sure it's not, it's not going to be one of those happy birthday candles where they keep lighting all the time. Just blow it quick and make sure you blow it out. Here we go. One, two, three. And what temperature is that? Is it cool, right? So if it does try it one more time, just check the temperature. One, two, three. Very nice. So it's kind of a cool temperature. And that means it's air that's a, that we took a shallow breath for that. We just kind of went, and it hasn't been in our body very long. The opposite is a real deep breath. So take your imaginary glasses. We're going to fog them up. You have these dirty glasses. If you're like me, I take them off and I go, how can I even see anything? So we've got the glasses and we're going to fog them up on three. One, two, three. What's the temperature now? It's all different. It's very warm. One more time. One, two, go. And when you do that, if you want to really get a lot of fog in your glasses, you have to deep, deep, breathe even deeper. One more time. One, two, three. That's the idea. So the whole idea is we, want, we don't want these shallow breaths. We want deep singer's breath. That all that, what makes that air warm is that it's been in the body longer. It's been really a wonderful breath. So we're going to add to that. We're going to blow all the air out. We're going to suspend for a second or two. We're going to let the air rush in. And then we're going to blow out on a sh sound. As in uh, Shucky Dave. I don't know. SH. I don't know. So here we go. We're going to breathe all the air out. So here we go. Ready? And all the air out until you're completely out. Until you're completely out. No air at all. Until you're absolutely nothing. And we're going to suspend for a little bit. And then deep breath. And out on an SH. Until you're just out of air. Very nice. Let's do the same idea. So same idea. We're going to blow all the air out and until you're completely out. Very good. And then suspend. One, two, and a deep breath. And out on a shh. Very good. And when you're doing this, what you don't want to do is you don't want to, as you're breathing all that air out, cave in. You want to keep that elongation, that really tall sense about you so that when you take that breath, you're not trying to get your shoulders back into position, but they already start there. So when we did this, that's what I want you to think about. So when you take that, blow all the air out, you maintain that really good posture. Here we go. Ready? And blow all the air out. And very good. And suspend for a second. Deep low breath. And beautiful. And out on a shh until you're out of air. Good. Excellent. So you got the right idea. We're going to try a little, a little uh, variation on that. We're going to breathe in through the nose over two counts. And then we're going to blow out the air on eight counts on a shh sound. Here we go. So in on two. And one, two, and out on eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we're kind of managing that. So by the time we get, if we're doing eight counts, we want you to be out of air by the time of the eight. So not only we take the breath in, but we manage it as we breathe it out. So here we go. One more time. In on two. One, two, and out on eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Very good. We'll try the same thing. And this time we're going to go on a sound. SS, as in the SS Poseidon. So sound, and that's because if we do a shh, you run out of air really fast. So we're going to do that on a sound. Same idea, in through your nose, two counts, out on 12 counts. Ready? Air in on two, and one, two, and out on 12. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And we're going to add another one, another four counts. Now we're going to go to 16. And if you're at home, if you, if you make it to eight, no worries. Just take a breath, come back in. But the idea is if we do these over time, you're going to get better at getting the muscles to kind of work together and be more efficient as a singer. So here's the same thing, in on two, out on 16. Ready? In on two, one, two, and out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. And as you start to get to these long ones, you have to be really kind of parceling out bit by bit. We're going to do one. Uh, you've now made it to the lightning round. We're going to go to 20 or two tens or four fives, however it works. Here we go. Ready? In on two and one, two and out. One, two, 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Whoo, you made it. So now we're, we're going to move on from the heavy breathing that we've been doing, and now we're going to do a little bit of singing, but we're going to kind of connect the two together. So this exercise is a very slow one. So it goes like this. Yo, 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 yo. So very slow. Let's do that much together. Ready? Go. Yo, 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 ho, yo, 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 yo. So yo, 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 yo. One more time. Yo, 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 yo. Good. And what we're going to do is we're going to breathe in. When we did it a second ago, we breathe in through our nose gently over two beats. We're going to do the same thing. Yo, 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 yo. One, two, and go. So we're going to have a long, nice breath so you can really focus on the sensation of that low breath. Here we go. Ready? And. Yo, 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 yo. And breathe. And. Yo, 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 yo. And breathe. One, two. Yo, yo. One, two. Yo, 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 yo. Good. Let's go back and do that exercise again, and let's add one other thing. Take your hand and just put it right here, kind of right here, and take a nice deep breath. And when you do, you want that breath to be low, not high. So everything, everything below here uh, is active. Everything above is quiet. So when I take a deep breath and I show my big belly, it's all low. So let's put a hand here and just remind ourselves that every time we take those two breaths in, we're going to make sure we get a really good breath. So here's back to B flat. Ready and go. One, two. sound very good. We're going to do another easy exercise. And this one is on the word ya. And it's ya, 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 ya. Very tall. But when I do it, I really think about singing every vowel tall. Ya, 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 ya. Not ya, 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 but ya, 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 ya. Here we go. And is that the right one? That's what I'm going to do. <laughs> we'll do this one. Ya, 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 ya. It's also easy, but even easier. Here we go. One and two. Good. Think about. Nice job. Let's do two more. One last one. Good. So we're doing that. I almost want to think about if you put your uh, fingers right between your teeth and we do an ah, you want almost that much separation. So when you do the ah, me, this next one is, is the word me and ah, me ah. So you really want to think about opening more. So it's taller than you think. Um, singing is like taking speech and, and, and exaggerating everything. So you could do ya, yeah, but in singing, ya, yeah, you want to really open it up. So this one's me ah. Me ah, let's try that one. Ready, go. Me ah, and a breath. Me ah, very good. Me ah, me ah, me ah. Let's do one more. So we're going to do one other one, and this one is uh, all in the word ha. Um, is it ha, 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 ha. So there again, let's see if I picked a good key. Not too shabby. All right, so this one, think about um, the same thing about that hinge. Ha, 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 ha. And notice when I do it, I don't change my mouth. Ha, 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 ha. I don't move my mouth. Once I set that vowel, I stay on it. So here we go. This is the ha. Get a good breath each time. One and go. 
Very good. Last one. Very nice. Have a seat. Uh, we are going to do a little tongue twister now. You sound great. Even at home you sound amazing, I would say. This next little exercise um, comes from the uh, alphabets of Dr. Seuss. So it's a little bit of a tongue twister. So I'll say the first phrase, you say it back. So O is very useful. O is very useful. You use it when you say... Oscar's only ostrich. Oscar's only ostrich. Oiled an orange owl today. Oiled an orange owl today. Let's do that a few times. O is very useful. O is very useful. You use it when you say. You use it when you say. Oscar's only ostrich. Oscar's only ostrich. Oiled an orange owl today. Let's go a little faster. O is very useful. O is, o is very useful. You use it when you say. You use it when you say. Oscar's only ostrich. Oscar's only ostrich. Oiled an orange owl today. Oiled an orange owl today. Uh, we might have it. And if worst, comes, worst case scenario, fake it. All right, fake it till you make it. So it's, the melody goes like this. O is very useful, you use it when you say. Try it with me, and. O is very useful, you use it when you say. Next one. Oscar's only ostrich oil and orange owl today. Let's try that one, ready? Oscar's only. Oscar's only ostrich oil and orange owl today. Let's do that again, because that's a tricky one. From Oscar's only, ready, go. Oscar's only ostrich orange Perfect. Let's put the whole thing together. We're back to O is very useful and uh, go. O is very useful. You use it when you say. Oscar's only ostrich orange orange Let's do it a couple more. O is very useful. Oscar's only ostrich. Oil and orange. O is very useful. It's very useful. You use it when you Oscar's only ostrich. Only ostrich oil and orange. You got it. Let's do one more time. We'll start back at the beginning. So we can do it one more time through this, and I think you have it. Here we go. Oscar's only. Ready? Or sorry. O is very useful. And uh, go. O is very useful. You use it when you stay. Oscar's only ostrich oil and orange. Let's go a little faster. O is very useful. You use it when you say. Oscar is only ostrich oil and orange oil. One more. O is very useful. You use it when you say. Oscar is only ostrich oil and orange oil. Woo, you got it. So we're doing really well. Let's do a little bit of music now. So we're going to be... Um, when you're at home, you either decide if you're reading your lyrics or if you're reading music. Either is okay. And what we'll do is we'll always talk about rehearsal letters. So we'll say, go back to letter A or letter D. So just make sure you have your music out and ready to go or your lyrics. And we're going to start with song number 11. Song number 11. It's Happy Trails. So I'll give you a second while you look for that. This is song number 11. And we are going to end every episode with a special song, and we decided it's going to be Happy Trails, uh, Dale Evans and Roy Rogers, if you remember that. And it is a really fun song. We use it for our Where Are My Keys chorale. That is their uh, official closing song, so we thought it would be nice for all of us. And the Where Are My Keys chorale is our group that is uh, for those um, dealing with memory loss and their care partners. So... Hey, where are my keys corral folks? So we're going to start with Happy Trails. We're going to start right at letter A. Let's learn the melody. And then at the end of this episode and every episode that follows, we'll sing this as our closing song. So here's Happy Trails. Ready? And go. Happy Trails to
and a breath. good. So it's all pretty familiar, but letter C is a little tricky. Let's go back to letter C. C is in cat who cares about the clouds. And see if we can get that melody a little cleaner this time. One, two, letter C. Who cares Very good. Let's go right before letter D. Can we do that little phrase, just sing a song and bring the, the sunny wealth, weather? That's the one that's the trickiest one. So we're right before letter D is in dog. Just sing a song and bring the sunny weather. Ready? And here we go. Just sing a song and bring the sunny Let's do that one more time. That was better. Same thing from the same place. Three, four. Just sing a song. One last time and we got it. Ready, go. Just sing the song and bring the sunny world. Happy dreams to you. Till we meet again. Very nice. I think we've got it. Let's do C one last time to make sure we have all of that and then we'll have it ready to go. Here's letter C. Three, four. Good. Just and hold out this one. Very nice. And we're going to hold that out nice and long, so make sure you get a good breath right before Till We Meet Again. Let's try the whole song, and I think this is a good time to introduce our amazing accompanist, Mr. Jamal Sarakoki. And Jamal has the most amazing trill in the world that you're going to hear. Um, I've never seen him ride a horse, but he can play it on the piano. So here's the beginning, Happy Trails, right from the top. Here it comes. Oh, here we go, and keep smiling. Good on that. Big breath here. And hold it out. Very nice. I think we have it. So we'll come back and do that right at the very end of our episode today. And now we want to move on to song number six. Song number six. This is Michael Rowe, The Boat Ashore. So song number six. All right, we're off to a great start. So believe it or not, in episode eight, which seems like a long time away, we're going to do a mini concert of all 11 songs, and we'll see how far we've come. So today, we're going to do some of the easier songs first. We'll do a few parts later in the episode, and then we'll start giving some more complex ones as we get a little bit further into the project. So let's look at letter A. Let's just learn this melody. So what you're going to find with a lot of this music is it's probably tunes that you know or recall, but sometimes they're not exactly the same way we remember. So you have to kind of watch for the rhythms. So if you're, if you're following along with lyrics, make sure your ears are really attentive to not only the pitches, but the timing of the pitches. So here's Michael Rowe, The Boat Ashore, letter A. Let's just do the melody. One, 
two, and one. Michael, row the boat ashore. Hallelujah. Michael, row the boat ashore. Hallelujah. So pretty good. And for some, sometimes the, the end of that is a little different. So this might not be the way you learned it, but this is the way the highwaymen did it. So we chose the highwaymen's version. Here's Michael Rowe again. Ready? And uh, go. Michael Let's see if we can do this in one big phrase. So let's do, Michael, row the boat ashore, hallelujah. Big breath. Michael, row the boat ashore, hallelujah. So we can use that breath breathing that we did in the first part of the episode. So let's do a little, we'll make it a little easier. We'll go a little faster now that we have the tune. But see if we can make it in one breath. So all the way to hallelujah, then you get a breath. Ready? And uh, go. Michael, Beautiful. Let's keep on going. Let her be. Sister, help. And like before, let her see. Mike. Letter F. River is deep and the river is wide. Hallelujah. Milk and honey And a letter G. Long on the last note. You got it. So now let's do the words that aren't Michael Roll the Boat the Shore. So let's do letter B first. Sister, help to trim the sail. Uh, and we're going all the way to hallelujah. One, two, go. Sister, help to trim the sail. Hallelujah. Good. And let's skip ahead to the next one that's different, which is letter D. D is in dog. River Jordan is chilly and cold. Hallelujah. Let's do that one. Here's letter D. And uh, go. River Jordan is chilly and cold. Hallelujah. You got it. Good. Chills the body, but not the soul. Hallelujah. Let's do the next one, which is letter F. Letter F. River is deep and the water, river is wide. Ready? And go. River is deep and the river is wide. You got it. So now we've got the whole thing. Let's go back and we'll do the whole thing from start to finish with all the letters in sequence. And let's stand and uh, do that together. We'll do a little mini performance. And if you're home, please stand and join us. If you're sitting tall, I won't notice, but make sure you're sitting tall. All right, this is song number six all the way through. Uh, do you want to do a fancy intro or do you want to just start on it? What do you think? Uh, We're going to start on it. You have, to, you have to come to episode two to hear the fancy intro. All right, here we go. Here's Michael Rowe. Ready? And uh, go. Michael Rowe, the Sister? And Michael?
chills the body. Chills the body. And back to Michael. Letter F, river is deep. River is deep and the river is wide. Big finish, Michael. Michael rowed a boat ashore. Nice, have a seat. Bravo, Jamal. I like that. Very nice. We're going to look at another song. This is song number seven. Song number seven is 500 Miles. You probably remember this song. This is uh, the, the Journeyman is the one that I took the, took the rhythms for. So this is one of those where you have to be aware of the rhythms because they're a little tricky. They aren't always what you think. So if you're reading lyrics, uh, and make sure you're listening to the group to kind of get the timing. And over time, you'll be absolutely perfectly in time. And if you're reading the music, try to watch those notes that are long and short. So we're going to start right at letter A and just see if we know this little tune and get used to the rhythms as well. So here's, if you missed the train, ready? I'll give you two. One, two. If you miss the train, Very good. So look at this. If you look back to letter uh, A, let me just sing it so you can hear the rhythm, and I'll try to do the rhythm correctly. But just listen to what seems, if you what seems right to what you remember and what's a little different. If you miss the train I'm on, you will know that I am gone. You can hear the whistle blow a hundred miles. Listen to this part, it's a little tricky. A hundred miles, a hundred miles, a hundred miles, a hundred miles. <gasps> I didn't take a good breath, but you get the idea. It's kind of tricky. Can we do the hundred miles part? Right at the very uh, middle of there, a hundred miles, one, two. A hundred miles, a hundred miles, a hundred miles, a hundred miles. Let's do that again. So every one of them are a little bit different. You got the idea. From 100 miles, one, two. A hundred miles, 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 a hundred miles,
it. Let's do it from away from home, the very end. And you notice the rhythm is the same thing as what we did before when we did 500, 100 miles. So let's go away from home, away from home, right before letter C is in cat. One, two. Away from home, away from home. Letter C. Letter C and Let's do letter C again, just to get used to that. That's a little tricky to get the words in, but we're doing pretty well with that. So this is letter C, not a shirt on my back. Here we go. One, two. Not a Nice. Let's do this. Let's go from the very beginning um, that far. Let's stand and do that. So we'll stand a little bit. You can kind of get yourself. Remember, you want your feet shoulder width apart. You want to be able to move your leg, your knees a little bit, and you want one foot slightly in front of the other. Weight on your, uh, not on your heels, but on your balls or your toes. And we're going to hear a little intro here, and you'll know when to come in because I'll cue you. That's the plan. All right, here we go. So from the very beginning, so Jamal leads us in. on that one. Nice. Have a seat. So next uh, time we're together, we will learn the rest of that, but that's a good start. I want to move on now to song number five. Song number five, which is the sound of silence. And up to this point, we've only been singing in unison to kind of get ourselves ready. And we've been doing a great job. So now we want to sing in a couple parts. So if you look at the sound of silence, number six, what you want to do is realize which part you're singing. So the top line is for sopranos and tenors, sopranos and tenors, the higher voices of, of, the, of the males and the females. And if you have a lower voice, alto or bass, you're reading the bottom line. 
So altum base in the bottom line, soprano tenor on the top. And you may say to yourself, I have no idea what I am. We're going to figure that out right now. So let's do letter A. So let's have uh, everybody who's comfortable singing it, letter A. This is the sopranos and tenors, but everyone can sing it for right now. And at home, you can sing both of them and then choose which one fits you the best. So here's letter A, which is melody. Here we go. And uh, one. Hello, darkness, my friend. Rest. Very good. Let's do that, much, that, that part again so we can get used to that. So these are the sopranos and tenors, but let's sing that. And if it feels too high for you, then maybe alto bass is to be the part that you'll feel more comfortable. So watch. Yum, bum, 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 bum. Then we really get all those notes. So here we go again from Hello Darkness, soprano and tenor. We're all reading the top line. And uh, go. And breath. Very nice. And what our group here did, such a nice job. The first time we sang it through, we were kind of not cutting off at the same time. This time, everybody was really good about that. So I'll show you the cutoffs. And remember, it's the sound of silence. So the silence is as important as the singing. So watch every one of those. I'll give you a cutoff each time. Let's look at the second line, the alto and bass part. We can all sing this as well. And then you can choose at home which one, is, which one calls out to you. All right, here we go. Hello, darkness, my old friend. All singing the second line. And... Uh, So that's just like the melody. Here it's different. And one. Well, that was great. Let's do a little bit of that again. Let's do it, not the first phrase or the second phrase. Let's do the third phrase where it says, because of vision softly creeping. That's the part where we have a little bit different than the melody. Here is alto basses again and uh, one. Because of vision softly creeping. Good. Left in seats while I was sleeping. And rest. On the vision that was planted. Very nice. Let's put those two parts together. And it starts all in unison. And that first time we get the word creeping, we hear that harmony. And it's a really beautiful moment. So here's everybody at letter A. Everyone at letter A, pick your part. Here we go. And uh, one. Watch the cutoff. Same thing. Here it comes. Beautiful. And Beautiful. And
You've got it. So what's really nice about it, if you look at letter B, it's the same parts we just learned, but now uh, we have different words. So let's do letter B. And you hear how when that harmony comes in there, it's just such a beautiful thing. It's so simply done, but yet so beautiful in the way it uh, happens. So this one, there's one little word you want to watch, and that's in, this, in the third phrase. In restless dreams I walked alone, narrow streets of cobblestone, neath the halo of a street lamp. So we'll do halo, just so you know that's coming. So a long A sound. So let's do letter B, and the parts are just like we did, a little different at the beginning, but not too much. Ready? And a one. Beautiful. So letter B is just a little different from the alto basses. Let's review letter B, the beginning for the alto basses. It's almost what you did before, but a little different on Walked Alone. And uh, B. Restless I walked alone. And uh, narrow streets of cobblestone. One more time like that. Letter B again. Ready? And uh, go. Restless I walked alone. Rest, rest. Beautiful. Let's put everybody together at letter B. That was great. Letter B. Ready and uh, go. Let's do it from the beginning that far, and then we'll learn the rest of it next episode. So we're going to start at the very beginning. All right, so let's do the sound of silence right from the very beginning. Let's stand and do that. We'll go all the way from the beginning to as far as we've gone. There is a little one measure of introduction before we get to letter A. So watch me, and I'll cue you in. So here is the beginning of the sound of silence. Good. More to come next episode. Have a seat. Let's look at one other new song. Let's look at song number two. Song number two is Blowing in the Wind, Bob Dylan's song. And it has a little bit, uh, it's a little bit tricky to get the rhythm. So we're going to do a little bit each week, and I bet you by episode four you will be rocking it and rolling with the Bob Dylans of the world. So we're going to start this one. We're going to start kind of toward the end. So if you can find in your lyrics or your music letter E, E is an egg, we're going to start with letter E. So this is mo about, probably about two-thirds through it. <clears throat> so here's, it's how 
So that time that, yeah, many times must a man look up. We all start in unison. Let's do this. Let's do the top line. And this one is a little different. If you remember the last one that we looked at, the top lines were the sopranos and tenors. Well, this one is a little different. So we have the sopranos on one line, and we have the altos also on that line. So top, top line are sopranos and altos, and then all the tenors and all the basses are on the bottom line. So top line, soprano, alto, bottom line, tenor, bass. So let's do, right at letter E, let's do the sopranos and altos first. This is at letter E, sopranos and altos, at how many times? Ready, and... Uh, how many times must a man look up before he can see the sky? How many Good. Let's go back a little bit. Let's go in between um, E and F. Actually, let's go back to, if you look at the very beginning, how many times must a man look up before he can see the sky? Let's start at the next phrase. How many ears must one man have? And let's do only the altos. Only the altos at uh, how many ears. Ready? And... Uh, Good. Good, let's add the sopranos and the altos. That was great, altos. Sopranos and altos at how many ears? Ready, go. Beautiful. Good, let's back up a little bit to where we get to how many deaths will it take. Let's hear just the altos again. Sopranos are on the melody, but here are just the altos. At how many deaths, ready, and. How many deaths will it take till he know that too? Let's do that again, very good. It's a little tricky until he knows. Let's do that again. How many deaths, ready, and. Her good. Good. Let's go back and do all this back to all the way to back to letter E. Let's hear sopranos and altos just to kind of get those parts in our ears. I think we got it now. Here's letter E. These are only the altos and only the sopranos. Ready and. Ha. Good. Going on. Very good. You're getting that. That's going really well. We're going to wake up the tenors and basses. They've been sitting for a while. Letter E. Let's hear the tenors and the basses. Reading the second line down. Ready? And uh, how many times must a man look? That's just melody. He can see the sun. Good, and now we have harmony. How many does one man have before people cry? Good, and the alto, the bass part at, at how many ears is very similar to the alto part, just an octave lower. Let's go back to how many ears, basses only. How many ears? Ready and. How many years must one man have before he can hear people cry? Perfect. Let's do the tenor, same spot. Tenor's at how many ears? Ready, and. How many years must Good. Good, let's put that all together, tenors and basses, at how many ears? How many ears? Ready and go. How many Good. Let's keep on going. How 
Very good. Let's go back here to how many deaths, and let's hear the bases first to make sure we have that part. How many deaths? Ready and go. How many deaths will it take till he knows? Too many people have died. Right on. Very good. Let's do the tenors. Tenors, it hangs up there for a little bit. Ready? How many? And how many deaths will it take till he knows? that too many people have died. Let's do that again. It's a little tricky. Same thing, tenors. Back to how many ears, or deaths, sorry. Ready and go. How many deaths will it take to be known? All right, let's put them together, get a little harmony going. Here is how many deaths, basses and tenors. Ready, go. How many Good. All right, I think we might have it. Let's go back to letter E and let's put all parts together and see what we have. Letter E. And it's a little tricky, but we're getting it. One of those things you just kind of keep chipping away. Every week we'll get a little better. Uh, here is letter E. Everybody's in. Ready, how? Very good. Let's do that last little part right before letter G. That was great. Um, let's do the answer is blowing in the wind, altos. This is the very last phrase before G is in goat. The answer, ready, and. The answer is blowing in the wind. Answer is blowing in the wind. One more time, and. The answer is blowing in the wind. Let's do that with the sopranos, uh, sopranos and altos. One, and go. Does that sound great? Let's hear the tenor, same spot, right before letter G, one and two. The answer One more time, the answer again, and uh, the answer blowing in the wind. Great, and here are the basses, ready? And uh, go. The answer blowing in the wind. Pretty straight ahead, let's put the tenors and basses together, ready? And the Let's put them all together. Let's go uh, right there. The answer, one and uh. the Good, let's do it from letter F. We'll put all that together. That was beautiful. Here's the answer. Ready and the answer. So watch that rhythm. So from letter F, the answer, my friend, is blowing in the wind. That the wind is a little quicker, but we did pretty well with that. Let's do F one more time, and I think we have her now. Ready and now. The answer, my friend, is blowing in the wind. The Good. Let's go back to letter E. Let's stand and do letter E that far. We are doing really well. This is a tricky little one. So if you're having a little trouble, just kind of keep working on it. The nice thing is, too, after you watch this episode live, you can always go back and parts you struggle with a little bit, you can just re rewind them and do it a couple times, which is great. I might do that myself. So here is letter E. We're going all the way from letter E as far as we've gone. Here's E. This is from how many times? Ready and how
Very nice. To be continued next time. Have a seat. We have one more that we're going to do, uh, and that is number nine. This land is your land. If you were with us last uh, in volume one of the Come Together Choir, we did this one. We've added a couple extra verses, but it's a good Woody Guthrie tune, and it seemed like if we're doing songs in the 50s and 60s, it had to be in there. So this is This Land is Your Land, and if you're um, looking for your music for this, and we're all singing words because I figured, A, you probably already know it, and B, if you don't, it's quick enough, you'll pick it up. So everybody would just be looking for words, so if you're frantically trying to find music, you only get a word sheet. All right. What do we have for an intro for this one? It's a little shorter. I was thinking, I was thinking something a little longer than that, but. There we go. We don't want to give you the full intro yet. So let's do let's start right where you come in at this land is your land. So we'll get the melody going and get ourselves going. Here we go. Here we go. This As I went walking, as I went walking, I think you got it. That one is, as I go, it's like, uh, you never forget that one. So we're going to do a couple things with this. If you notice, the last time we do a little key change, just to make it exciting. And what we're going to do is every time you do the words, this land is your land, this land is my land, throw out any harmony you want, hopefully something that fits. So you can have, pick your own harmonies. And this features the amazing stylings of Mr. Jamal Sarakoki. Let's stand and do song number nine. Song number nine, this land is your land. Here we go. I went walking. Here's a key change.
Round of applause for Jamal Sarakoki. Very nice. Well, we want to thank you. We want to thank our key chorale singers for being such a great choir tonight. We want to thank accompanist Jamal Sarakoki and all of you for joining us. And as a reminder, these episodes premiere each Thursday at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. After that, all of the rehearsals will be available on Key Chorale's YouTube channel to watch again or whenever it's convenient. So before we go, let's sing our closing song, song number 11. It's Happy Trails with that great trill from Jamal Sarakoki. Oh, here it comes. Oh. So long, see you next time.